This is a demo video for the Pyramid PR-8200 Echo Stereo Sound Mixer. It has four stereo channels, one, two, three, four, two microphone inputs with either quarter inch or XLR, two master outputs, two crossfaders between channel one and two, and channel three and four. It has stereo EQ, graphic EQ, left channel and right channel. Uh, Echo, which is analog bucket brigade based, has a monitor output. You can switch which channel you want to listen to with your headphones. Um, and then, as you can see here on the front, what I've done is replaced, uh, not replaced, but supplemented on the back, there's only RCA inputs. So for synthesizer users, quarter inch and eighth inch jacks are much more useful. So, channel 1 has left and right unbalanced input. Channel 2's left input does not work, but channel 2's right input does. Then channels 3 and 4 are differently laid out. This one is a stereo input, tip left channel, ring right channel, and then a common ground between them. And then there's left and right 8th inch inputs for both channels 3 and 4. Um, I moved the headphone jack from the top of the unit down to here. There's a delay output, which is the wet signal only. Um, I've modified it for extra feedback, and you can switch between short and longer delay times, which I'll go over in just a second. So, um, I've got a simple kick snare beat going on right now, and I've switched the talk button on, which mutes, or turns down all of the other channels. So I'll turn it back up. Okay, and then I'll show each channel working. I don't have the right channel of the mixer hooked up, so we can't hear that, but we can see the meters are moving. And then channel 2 left input not working. I didn't have the time to troubleshoot it. Channel 2 right input, you can see it's working. And then you can see that channel 3's input works, and 4. One of the cool things about this mixer is that each individual channel has a preset little detented screw and you can change the gain drastically. Uh, let me grab a screwdriver. So here it is at normal volume and you can see it's already clipping a little bit because the output of the drum machine is fairly hot. And I can drive it into distortion fairly easily. So each channel has that as well as the master output. And the master also has one volt and two volt outputs, so it's basically louder or quieter output, depending on what signal or what destination you need to drive. Okay, so I've tested all of those. Here's a microphone. I'll check the individual microphone inputs. Check one, two, check one, two. This is a pretty terrible sounding microphone, but at least it works. Check one, two, check one, two. And then the XLR inputs. Okay, so everything's cool. The equalizer, here we go. So we're only coming out the left channel, so I'll show you. So, pretty fun and pretty weird that you can EQ your left and right channels differently. Okay, and then the most amazing function of this, of course, is the echo. I've replaced the power light and the echo light. So there's the bucket brigade. It's set to short right now and normal feedback. I'll change the delay time. Okay, now we'll switch into long mode. And you can start to hear some of the high-pitched whine from the clock in the signal. This is fairly normal for bucket brigade delay chips. So that's the longest delay time you can get out of it. And right
right about here, right at about 9 o'clock and down to 7 o'clock on the delay in long mode. There's no control due to the nature of the modification. So we'll go back to extra feedback mode. And it's right on the edge of feedback. Now I'll demo, so I, there's quarter inch outputs on the back. And now I'll demo the quarter inch delay output only on the front. Which is cool because the EQ still affects the signal that's going to the delay. So you can use this as a big fancy delay box. I forgot to show the crossfaders real quick, so... There we go, back to the normal output. And I'm still monitoring out of my headphones, so I can still kind of hear the signal, so you can do stuff like this. And on and on. There's a center detent uh, right at the 5 right there for the crossfader, and that's about it.